Men, what do women do, that they think is sexy, that just isn't? Unhealthy amounts of plastic surgery. As in let's get implants that make my breasts the size of 50 ton boulders and lip filler that gives me fish lips. Playing hard to get. I've read quite a few blogs and heard from quite a few people that making yourself look unavailable is a quick way to gauge the guy's interest. Sorry, doesn't work on me. It just makes me think she's a game player and not interested in straightforward communication. That thing where they get all coy and ask stupid questions. Like who are you? And how did you get inside my house? Anything super fake. Lips, nails, boobs, hair, lashes, cosmetic surgeries, it all detracts from natural beauty. Stop competing with all the hers and just be kind and friendly. Implants, lip filler, microblading, pretty much all the fake shit. While I don't find any of it sexy, I'm totally on board with the fact that women like to do it for themselves and that my opinion doesn't really matter, smiley face. Woman here but I'm bi so I'm chiming in with the guys for this one. The fucking ahegao face. Cringiest thing ever. Twerk. I have no idea who in the blue fucking moon thinks that shit is arousing. There is a sensual hip swinging, and then there is twerking, where you shake your ass like you tried to get something out from it. Sometimes women do things because they want to or because they like the way it looks or makes them feel and they don't take give two shits if men think it's sexy. Source the women in my family, and also the same is true for men. Baby talk and generally acting all oh, but bam I adore you little girl. Shit. It's like, do we look like nonces? Do we want someone talking to us like a four year old would? Because, if so, why would you fuck someone like that? Men are simple tell them dirty things, give us sexy times, you're good. That's it, no need for the Jimmy Savile routine. Get ready for duck face, baby voice, real men do X, if you don't tolerate me at my worst you don't deserve me at my best. I can't tell these girls apart they all look the same. The ones with dyed blonde hair, massive rubber dingy lips that would have been useful on the Titanic. Looks like they fell asleep on the sunbed and then smashed their face into the makeup pit. All that damn makeup. It's quite a shame too because some girls just naturally look so much better without it. Going from hot, to suddenly cold with sexual energy. Teasing isn't fun for me, it's just kind of frustrating to be honest. Act stupid. As in I don't understand and are just too cute. Plaza explained show me do it for me. I get that some men like to get their ego boosted but damn it is so cringe. Not once have I ever asked a person out. It's always happened the other way around. So I might be a bit biased when I say that I don't understand the concept of playing hard to get, and don't find it attractive because it's not clear communication. When they ask you to come for them, as in come for me or are you going to come? That for me just kills the drive and it feels like a chore at that point. Now with the phrasing coming on my insertarian here then they wouldn't be as bad and maybe kinky. Randomly twerking at the security cameras. I'm tired of mentally adding the timestamp in my memory bank to check and save it later because I'm too busy with customers to do it right away. If your eyebrows resemble a Nike logo in shape or a gradient it looks horrendous TBH it's the one thing I can stand. If you wanna see what I mean look up chav girl makeup it's bizarre. Posting revealing photos on dating sites. As a man, I think like this. Okay, already know what she's like, obviously not my kind of woman, left swipe. I like a woman who shows her beauty in a non-revealing way, leaving you wondering and wondering. Being 3-4 naked in pics isn't sexy to those of us looking for long-term partners, but maybe to fuck boy. Sexy dancing, like as a performance. No matter how they do it, it looks fake to me. It doesn't turn me on and it doesn't look like they are turned on by it. I'm talking about dancing that's part of sex like before sex, or stripping. Dancing in a dance hall when she's having fun and not doing it as a performance can be very sexy. Anything that looks fake. Implants. Whatever they do to their lips I don't even like lipstick, fake eyelashes, long nails, and tons of makeup are all examples. The amount of insecurity in this question is crazy lalalal you can have preferences and I understand that entirely. Just understand that these women aren't trying to compete when they put makeup on or when they make cosmetic changes to themselves, it is a form of expression. Anything fake. Nails. Lots of makeup. Implants. Hair I'd where the list begins and where it ends. But on the other hand most women people usually say I don't do it for the men, I do it because I find myself pretty. I'm just here for the borderline incel comments that always get posted here. Popcorn. I don't like when they change acts, because it shows low self-esteem. I'm here for it. Batting eyelashes, subtle hints, performative tongue stuff licking their lips, teeth, waggling tongue is always weird at me out. Like, 
Who is that for? I guess it might be implying cuddling this or something but that's never done it for me. Hey, men? You know we don't care what you think, right? If my acrylics or lip fillers make me feel pretty, I'm getting them. It's not for you. Dressing young overly tight in an attempt to look sexy, but your age or body type can't match it. I don't think this is woman specific though. Dressing with a nice fit for your body type is sexy. Twerking. I can enjoy a good set of buttocks, but I just can't get behind the appeal of shaking them for no other discernible purpose than the act itself. Too much makeup, fake long nails, fake stuff. And the worst of all shaving off the eyebrows and then drawing them back on. Why would you do that? Did you wanted to know how you looked like without eyebrows but then regretted it? Long nails, fake nails, painted nails, nail art. That stuff is to make you feel better and to impress other women. Men think it is ridiculous. Vast amounts of makeup that create a wax statue look. Gwen Stefani is the prime example. Some guys must like it, but to me it's a turn off as much as fake boobs are. Too much makeup. I don't think they have the slight idea of what too much is. I see many women in Tinder who I was going to swipe left but then I saw the other pictures without the makeup. They was actually pretty, at least a cent. Yeah last one is beauty surgeries, they think they are beauties but I see Frankenstein being overweight and stuffing themselves into a size excess body pouring out of all sides, inflating lips like bicycle tires full of collagen, obvious fake boobs round on the top, pursing lips in photos, leopard skin clothing, flirt then act like you hate us out of nowhere, I never understood this, it makes me not want to talk to you ever again, borrowing caterpillars for their eyebrows, Painting their pusses brown but leaving very visible white marks everywhere, making their lips look like an elephant's swollen anus. Those damn god awful nails they put on. Complete turn off on the same level as picturing my grandparents having sex. Long fake nails with complicated ornaments, and similar septum piercings. Seriously, simplicity in these cases is better. Applying makeup and getting fancy. Ladies, the most wonderful version of my GF is when she is down to earth and laid back and sweats and hairs up in a ponytail she looks good either way of course. You don't need to try so hard, same for dudes I guess. Stop forcing yourself to be sexy to people who have no inkling of being attracted to you. Those long ass fake nails, fake den, gobs of makeup, and women who act like they are God's gift to men. Two lip injections, too much makeup, acting stupid, letting men win games, starve themselves get sloppy drunk when you talk about how good you are at having sex. No, just no. Even if you are a sex pro that will give me the best sex of my life and blow my brains out, that is a show, don't tell kind of situation. Fake nails that are too fancy. Nobody really cares. Fake eyelashes. Painted on eyebrows. Makeup. Men actually like women that are natural. High-waisted clothing is hideous to 99 of men over 30. I would take it even further and say you could be an absolute smoke show and toss some of these pants on and your body looks bad now. Weird, distorted, misshaped. Style and fashion is subjective but, it's a pretty huge consensus among men. Wear what you want ladies of course but shit I cannot wait for this trend to pass. With the overwhelming evidence that men don't like anything fake such as fillers, implants, nails, lashes, etc. And many of us find it truly disgusting. I'm almost convinced that women who do those things really are doing it for the approval of other women rather than men. Which is totally fine, but don't get upset when men don't find you attractive anymore. Spending way too much time going through old social media albums of their amazing times holidays while you're hanging out. What are you hoping to gain from this? Are you thinking your albums of pissed up photos and slaggy behavior abroad is going to impress me? LMFAOE and no, straight up asking weird questions that makes us think you want some personal information to exploit or use against us. Like really, it ain't cool. Fake nails, big fake umbrellas glued to her face, lots of tattoos or if she plays hard to get. She usually for the streets if she plays hard to get because she playing many men at one time. Uh, go. Put your tongue back, you look like a cat about to puke. It's ugly as fuck when anyone does it and I hate that it became such a fad in NSFW spaces. Lip fillers, butt implants, tanning. Basically the dollar store Kardashian look. I don't get it. You all just look the same. Playing hard to get. For a subset of humans that often claims communication as a primary skill they are ridiculously bad at it. Flipping their hair. I've never found it sexy. It just looks like they're trying to get something out of their hair. Fake lips. It's not attractive. You simply look like you've had an allergic reaction to something you ate. 
add a trout pout to it and it's just the worst. Shaving and painting on eyebrows always makes me think of CPT Mouser and Proctor from Police Academy 3 when I see it. Just my opinion but fake bits, fake ass, fake anything, being overly skinny, or lots of makeup, are all a turn off for me. Loud moaning, we know it's fake and I just feel more insecure because I know it's fake. Edit hair dye as well I like how girls think of it but I see it as a lack of confidence. Long fingernails, then by long I don't mean ridiculously long. I like really short fingernails far more. If your eyebrows resemble a Nike logo in shape or a gradient it looks horrendous tbh it's the one thing I can stand. If you want to see what I mean look up chav girl makeup every girl in my secondary school looked like this at one point I have no idea why. Trying to make a sexy things from nothing. Just be yourself, and you will be more pretty so people will like you more. The massively long fake nails. If you can't pick up things I wonder how to manage your personal hygiene. Posing on camera. Just smile. All the filters, duck faces, stances like when they're sideways and lift one knee up. Why? Just smile. The model bowed. Fierce is fine and all, but Joy is way way sexier. I blame the advertising industrial complex for this one not that there's any shortage of things to rightfully blame it for. Support toxic masculinity, or the woman's role. Seriously stop. It doesn't make you hot it makes you sound fucking stupid. Unnecessary plastic surgery. It's easy to tell the difference between work done for a medical reason and work done strictly for looks.